तो हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू गेट अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म इन दिस इंट्रेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यशवंत ही हैज डन इज मास्टर्स फ्रॉम एन आई टी वारंगल एंड करेंटली ही इज प्लेस्ड इन ए एम डी एडवांस माइक्रो डिवाइसिस सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्लेसमेंट सीनारियो इन एन आई टी वारंगल एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड वॉट आर द ऑपरचुनिटीज विद द स्टूडेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पेशलाइजेशन वट आर द इंटर्नशिप अपॉर्चुनिटीज पीपीओ ऑफर्स एंड फुल टाइम ऑफर्स विच कंपनीज डू विजिट द कैंपस दिस ऑल थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस इंट्रेक्शन so before starting the detailed discussion first of all yashwant congratulation for your placement thank you thank you sir. and thanks for sparing few minute for us no no problem it's a pleasure okay so before we start this discussion just give your brief introduction about your academic background okay so i have done till my btech in hyderabad i am from hyderabad okay so i have i have completed my btech in vnr vjit uh, it is a Call a local college. So in 2019, I was passed out okay. in a uh, L E C branch. Okay. E C. Uh, so uh, I have given gate two times. Okay. Uh, one is 2019 and 2020. Okay. So in 2020, I got admitted to N I T Varangal. Okay. What was your specialization in N I T Varangal? Electronic instrumentation and embedded systems. So, what is the curriculum of this specialization? Basically, it is uh, towards the hardware or it's towards the software. Yeah, I would say it is a mixture of uh, things like uh, you will have even very log stuff like digital electronic stuff. Okay. And uh, embedded also, we are allowed to do some projects on uh, real time embedded systems and all. Okay. And some part of instrumentation also will be there. Okay, so, so Yashwan, machine learning topics are okay. Good, good. Yashwan, tell me. See, in IIT, we have a freedom in choosing the electives in any specialization, right? Mm -hmm. So, in yes. NIT, we have the same freedom in case of your specialization, or there are already set of subject you need to take. Yeah, it, the freedom is definitely there. So, it depends on the majority. Like, uh, if we all, uh, if there are a reasonable number of uh, students in that particular course, mm -hmm. then that will be selected as an elective okay so you are placed in amd advanced micro devices right yes so what is your profile uh, my profile is dft design for testability okay so you got this opportunity through full time offer or through internship through internship through internship okay can you explain me you know when in nit warangal the process of internship started process of internship it starts after the completion of the first semester okay so if the result of first semester is out so based on that internship uh, offer will come otherwise your btech uh, cgpa will be taken so how many students are allowed for internship all the student are eligible to participate and to you know apply for the internship or there is some restriction because some nit has the criteria that only 50% student can apply for internship what is in nit warangal No, nothing like that. A hundred percent. Everyone is allowed to register for placement, and uh, it is companies which whether uh, it should uh, allow the student or not. Okay. It will uh, like it will take uh, based on the cut off like CGPA cut off. Okay. True. 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 So you first joined through the internship, then you got the PPO, right? Yes. Yes. So the student who has already applied for internship, who is doing the internship, so is he eligible to sit for the full time offers? The companies which are coming in the campus for the full time. Yeah. The so the student who is doing the internship in this company now. So if that company did not give him placement till it gives him the uh, PPO like pre placement offer, he is allowed to sit for the full time. Okay, so once, once he got the PPO, he is not eligible to sit for the placement, yeah. right? Yes, he is not eligible. Okay, so apart from your specialization, there are also some other specialization like VLSI is there, like I guess communication is there. There might be some other branches, right? So, what are the placement yeah. opportunity for VLSI, communication, and electronic instrumentation and embedded system? They are identical. Many, uh, all the major VLSI companies they come and recruit from all the three branches. Okay. and there are some companies which only come for communication also okay. like for us in our batch mediatek company it came only for communication okay though it is a vms uh, okay. related company so it it is not like no edge uh, like kind of a thing but uh, when we talk about analog profiles uh, so that kind of a thing vms people have a slight edge okay that's, that's good that's good yeah. 
ओके यशवंत नाउ टेल मी हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट वर देयर इन योर स्पेशलाइजेशन 26 तो ऑल ऑफ देम वर प्लेस्ड और यू नो सम ऑफ देम आर नॉट प्लेस्ड या एक्सेप्ट वन एवरीवन गॉट प्लेस्ड व्हाई सो ही वांट टू कंटिन्यू फॉर हायर स्टडी और देयर वर सम रीजन विद हिज ही वांटेड टू कंटिन्यू लाइक ही इज इन द सेम in in university he wanted to continue like phd or he want to continue phd so yeah. other student from your specialization got opportunity from which which companies uh like uh, uh everyone almost 80% got into vlsi uh, companies only and okay. some into embedded okay so yashwant my next question to you is you know when you join the mtech in NIT, nit warangal right so there might be lot of lots of doubt in your mind that whether i will get a good placement with this branch or not right obviously i'm not sure about your case most of the student target vlsi first right then they yes. will go for electronics instrumentation embedded system these all branches this was the yes. same case with you yes yes so I definitely targeted yeah. top 3 vlsi like trichy suratkal and warangal okay but after that i kept this true 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 so the, let us assume this situation okay so most of the student are in the same boat in this session who are going yes. for the mtech right they were about yes. to you know assuming that they will get vls in trichy they will get vls in suratkal vls in warangal and all but you know they didn't get it now they just need to proceed with these branches like electronic system and embedded so when you join the mtech there might be lots of doubt in your mind regarding the placement whether you are going to get the yes. same opportunity as the vls i will get right so what is your suggestion now uh suggest like how i took uh, like i'll explain how i took actually so i had a interaction with many of my seniors true 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 in that uh, particular branch so before i joined it was only electronics and instrumentation okay. the branch name true true, true true so in 2019 it was changed to electronic instrumentation and embedded systems okay. so embedded systems added uh, some weightage in placements to this branch so true. from our seniors it was added and uh, it was good from then uh, it was on par with vlx so based on this i have chosen it okay so see you have undergone the process of internship then you have got the ppo right so nit yes. warangal is a one of the reputed institute or premier institute or top nit some institute like lower nits or some other like dtu is there this the student of those didn't get that much opportunity to get placed in the top companies sometimes they get opportunity yes. to do the internship right so what are the things yes, according yes. to you should focus during the internship so that you can get the ppo okay so in internship actually uh, it it mostly depends on the team as well the, so what kind of work they give you so it may be uh, based on different tasks they tell you to complete in one week or they directly indulge you in some project or the things okay so if they are giving you some tasks then you have to complete them in time and if you are not able to then you have to ask ask some uh, number of doubts actually uh, you should come up with more number of doubts and things like that so it doesn't always uh, uh depend on how you perform actually even the vacancies and so many other factors uh, depend on whether you get your ppo or not okay so whatever we do so we have to do it in time and perfectly like good result should be there that's all okay so yes when you know you got the ppo from amd so you were decided that you are going to join this company only or you were also thinking about the campus placement that i might get some better option than this in the campus no uh, for me uh, no actually after getting this pp i was totally into this company and i never thought like that okay so, yeah good so my next question is related to curriculum how is basically the curriculum in nit warangal is it you know have you know overloaded too much or it- uh, hectic i can't uh, judge because in 2020 we joined right so it was all online okay true, true. so for us first year totally it was online so it was a bit hectic actually so we were uh, asked to do some projects but we are not uh, having any resources to do them my okay. kind of uh, uh, some difficulties were there true. but uh, but uh, hectic in the sense yeah first year some you won't get time to like uh, prepare other stuff so 
first year will be empty and second year or not uh, there is no not okay you told me that you need to do some project right see whenever a student go for mtech you are also the new one when you go for the mtech now you have the experience that is something different right so yes. when we go for the mtech and we need to do some project so what are the resources you know you start following for the project you take the guidance from your senior or from your fellow or from faculty from what were the basically the you know trustworthy resources for the project or it was just your time which you have invested in studying the research papers yeah so first uh, uh, project work depend like it is uh, combined with the lab actually okay so uh, so on that lab whatever we work on so similar kind of work should be there in our projects okay. as well so we have to go through some of the ieee papers or the recent work which has been done there okay and uh, that title which we wanted to do as a project we have to mail it to our uh, Uh, professor okay so he will once screen it and he will see how much depth it is going to be and he will allow us to do like he'll give a green signal or something so we can do it okay ishwan you told me that you know companies come for the internship they also they also took into the consideration your mtech cgpa while shortlisting the candidate yeah if the cgpa is not yet available they'll take btech cgpa but if it is available then definitely mtech cgpa will be taken okay good see earlier you told me that you used to refer some ieee paper right so when you are a beginner you just have done the btech what i believe and you will agree to me that it's very difficult to invest time on the research paper because you don't have that yes. much experience in beginning right yes. so you, it feels yes. like you are wasting your time okay and you know yes. you have wasted 2 to 3 hours and you haven't get anything from that paper um, yes, so yes. in those situation uh, what student should keep in mind uh, what i did was uh, some keywords will be there so uh, if you are doing you are taking up some project or something some keywords you have to just keep it in mind and you have to search for those kind of papers only right right just study the abstract first okay not need to go through the full paper and true, true, just true. study the stuff abstracts and have a summary of what all you have read or write down a notes or something so uh, it yeah it will take a lot of time actually to conclude at one title or one topic but yeah the procedure is uh, this thing yeah, for time take Okay, yes, man. You know, in every specialization, there are some. I don't know whether in NIT Warangal is this process or not. There are the rank of the department basically, department rank one, two. In your specialization, on the basis of your CGP, right? Does the companies which comes for the placement they take into consideration the top rank, second rank, third rank, or their equal eligibility criteria for all the candidates? no there is equal like they have a cut off like 7 cgpa 7.5 after that they will uh, uh, allow us to write one uh, online test right okay so in that online test result based on that interview will be there okay so yeah so uh, cgpa advantage kind of thing yeah, like that nothing is there. okay so see you got the your offer through the internship but uh, most of your batchmate and many of your friend might got through the full time offer right i want to know about the culture of nit warangal when students start preparing for placement and through what resources they start preparing for placement so that the student who are joining through this session this video become helpful for them and handy to decide how to start the preparation and when to start the preparation for placement for a vlsi domain particularly what i would like to say is uh, we have to be thorough in very long okay and not totally thorough but at least one project or like in our uh, uh, specialization we are uh, allowed to do one project in first semester itself so okay. that will be helpful okay so very long is the first thing and uh, gate syllabus digital uh, electronics the, that is an important one right, right right so the same digital questions that we prepare for gate will be asked in intervals so nothing much and some uh, questions related to timing they are very important like yeah so that's all so those things uh, parallelly through uh, studying mtech or parallelly only we can study that's not an issue for uh, uh, internship for a full time you will have a gap between first year and second year around 2 months total so in that uh, period you can 
ओके सो यशन माय लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज व्हाट विल बी योर ब्रीफ एडवाइस टू दो स्टूडेंट हु आर जॉइनिंग एमटेक इन करंट सेशन स्पेशली रिलेटेड टू देयर करियर रिलेटेड टू देयर इंटर्नशिप रिलेटेड टू देयर प्लेसमेंट व्हाट यू वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट टू देम लाइक दे शुड जस्ट फोकस ऑन व्हाट आर सब्जेक्ट्स आर देयर सो व्हिच सब्जेक्ट हैज मोर इंपॉर्टेंस इन फॉर देम टू गेट प्लेस्ड इन कंपनीज so they should have an industry in mind so i should go to software side or alsi side and right. that side so they should from day one if they start focusing on those subjects in mtech curriculum which help in the placements so if they are good at uh, them so what happens is uh, when company come to placement they actually look at your uh, resume okay in resume you will be studying you will be writing what all courses you have taken and so after the first preference is given to the project work and after that it is given to the course work what you have done what you have learnt in that course okay so it will be helpful for you to uh, get the job actually True, 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 true. Yes, sure. It was really a nice conversation with you, and you have mentioned some of the very important key point for the student who are going to start their M Tech in this session, right? It will definitely help them a lot, right? Yes. Uh, so we wish you all the very best on the behalf of the Gate Academy. It's just a beginning for your professional career, and still you have to achieve many milestones ahead, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Yes. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you.